Lynn's a long way from Jane Austen's rolling countryside period curio, sense and sensibility. But in a world that is constantly changing, there's one thing you can be sure of. Every time Emma Thompson dons a bodice, people literally throw Oscar nominations at her. It's cold. You're up for a couple of Oscars for this film. There's one already in the bathroom, apparently. I mean, have you already sort of made some spaces for these? I may have to move uh, the soap basket. <laughs> so I'm very upset about. It looks very nice, the soap basket. I don't know. We, don't, we can't predict. Don't uh, predict. All right. We'll only hex ourselves. This is another bodice ripper. Do you ever yearn to do a film with jeans and trainers? If it was a good script? Yeah. Of course. Um, uh, I, I don't actually... I don't really make the distinction between sort of period films and, and modern films, but perhaps the most successful ones are the ones that have been in a period. And um, all I'm interested in is a decent story. You adapted the book for the screenplay. I mean, were you constrained by the use of language? I mean, for example, you can't don't swear, obviously. The great difficulty was not letting it down by contemporising it in in the wrong kind of way. If, she, if it had sounded too modern, it wouldn't have worked, but it needs to be completely understandable and yet retain its wit and its elegance. You must change, you will catch a cold. What care I for colds when there is such a man? You will care very much when your nose swells up. You are right. Help me, Eleanor. There's no sex or violence in this movie. Do you think that's what makes it popular? Because it's true escapism. No, it's not escapism at all. Um, uh, I, I, I don't really understand how you can see it like that. But anyway, a lot of people do, I know, and especially yeah. in my country, that's just weird. But to call it escapism is, um, well, I find it just terribly, I, I find it incredibly upsetting, actually, because um, it seems to me to be so contemporaneous somehow. I think, personally, that if you're making a film that is merely about sex and violence, that's escapism because generally speaking, that's not what is contained in people's lives. If you're trying to make a film about how people live, the choices they make, the moral choices they make about how to love, how to survive, then you're making a film about human life as it goes on around us. That's what Austin was writing about, and that's what this film is about. If you're making a film about bank robbers, you're writing about, you know, our fantasy ideas of bank robbers. You don't feel the bullets going in and you don't feel them coming out. That's escapism. Um, in Vanity Fair, you did some very sort of sexy photos recently. I mean, is there a sex bomb waiting to explode? Um, I, um... <sighs> this notion of, of sexuality as having to be something that's very upfront is also upsetting and, um dodgy, I reckon. Mm. Um, I mean, you know, is there a sex bomb waiting to explode in you? What do you think? Rigid or cold is a real problem with sex anyway. I don't really understand how you can see it like that, but anyway, I find it incredibly upsetting, actually. That's escapism.